Welcome to part 39 of the Paranormal Hunter Baby Challenge. And in this episode, we're going to start off with a bit of ghost busting. We're going to try and get rid of all the bad spirits in this place. Also, uh, Darla and Benny age up and we work on skills. We're just going to be doing some painting. And because, of course, anytime you talking to a specter doesn't get them to leave, you give them a gift. And it's usually something homemade, and painting is, well, homemade, so we're going to do that. You know, it's not easy to convince a ghost to leave, so we can't just trap them. <laughs> That's not how it works in this game, so there's that. Uh, let's try and convince the specter to leave. If that doesn't work, we'll give him a gift. And he doesn't like the gift, talk to him again. You never know. You change his mind. We're going to do more than one, more than one ghost busting in this episode. This isn't the only one. There's another one. There's another one toward the end. Which is good. Yeah, there's one toward the end. Because we got birth, because we got this, we got a birthday party, and then you got him painting, and then more ghost busting. There's only four video clips. Wait, is there? Uh, yeah. Good. We got rid of that bad spirit right there. We got hands coming out of the ground. We got bad weeds coming out of the ground. We got these creepy dolls, these haunted dolls. You know, like. In these movies with a uh, uh, possessed dolls, you got those in here. But they just sit there and they just they give off these creepy vibes, like you know. And we get slime, the occasional slime and uh, markings. You know, it's not just talking to specters. You got these. Evil specters, you got mopey specters, and you got these good specters, like Slimer. That's why I call the green specters, I call them Slimer, because they, they look like them, you know, they're green. And that's what they look like, they're little cute little things, you know what I'm saying? I call the green ones Slimer. Let's just say Slimers in this series, okay? Which is good. Oh, you got the evil ones that breathe fire. Oh... <laughs> Those are the best. <laughs> they don't creep me out. <laughs> um, this 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 uh gameplay this um uh job is career choices. It's fun. I like I like the paranormal investigative career. It's fun. And I enjoy it very much. That I'm willing to can continue another series of just Ghostbusters related. And paranormal related. We have the original Ghostbusters and we're gonna have the real Ghostbusters from the cartoon series. I did finally get around to watching it. i uh YouTube only had the first five episodes of the from the first season of the real Ghostbusters. And let me tell you, I couldn't stop watching it. It's like where's the sixth episode at? <laughs> <laughs> See, it, the first season came out when I was only two, so I didn't get to watch it. Okay? And, of course, I didn't watch it any time when I was a kid because anything scared me. Even those ghosts probably would have scared me as a child, so uh, I didn't watch it. So, I've heard of it. I've seen clips. And I'm like, I won't watch it. If I'm going to be doing a series, a Sims 4 series, a Hunter Baby Town series like this, but with the same character, same characters, but they look different in the cartoon. So, uh, yeah, like we're going to, like we did here, we're going to start uh, Ray, Peter, Egon, and Winston. <laughs> but this time, their characteristics from the cartoon, from what they look like in the cartoon. I wish I could find the uniforms, different color uniforms. Oh. You know, because I know in the original Ghostbusters, this is the uniform set that's, that they were, they were wearing similar uniforms that they're wearing now. But in the cartoon, they're wearing different colored uniforms. That, you know, I, I wish I could find custom content like that on Sims. 
but I can't. It sucks. If I could make custom content, I'd do it myself, but I, I don't know how to make custom content. Sims 3, you could. I know Sims 3, Sims 3 was easy to make custom content. But here, no. But Sims 3, it's in the game. You can design what you like with uh, the color wheel and stuff like that. You can make up your own designs and fabric choices. And Sims 4, you can't really do that. <laughs> Uh, so it's easier to make custom content in Sims 3 than it is in Sims 4. Good. Benny and Darla just aged up. No birthday parties, it's just they were toddlers. Okay, they were toddlers. I mean, they were babies, they jumped into toddlers. What do you think in a big birthday party? That's what I thought too. My mistake. It's the weekend for... It's only the weekend. Okay. So they did a job, though. They were just... I just... Been doing so many of these Harvey Channel series. Everything's starting to... Blend together. And it's hard to differentiate... Between names and stuff. The names and... The children get mixed up together in my mind. It's hard to tell everybody apart now. <laughs> Since by the time we end this series, we'll put us up to 800 kids. and That's too many. Um, like I said, we are going to get to 1,000. After this, there's two more series. We're going to Jigger out the Wicked. That, that is final decision. There's no going back on that. I made my decision. I'm not even changing my mind on that. Jigorado from Lex will have another series and it'll be on Baby Challenge for three generations. And the f final generation, it'll be a male Hunter Baby Challenge. And it's using between Lex characters again or something. And uh, uh, Ghostbusters, but this, this time the real Ghostbusters. You know, their cartoon counterparts. Because they look different in the cartoon versus the movie. So. So can we do it with the real Ghostbusters? Well, we'll see. Hopefully by the time I get around to it, there probably will be custom content. For them, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. By the time I get around to it eventually. Because by the time I end this, I gotta go to Jigarada and then come here. And then come back to Ghostbusters. And that'll be toward the end of the year. That's time to get around to it. So I won't be able to finish this particular series. Until... Sometime in June? Because each character lasts three... Every, each generation lasts three weeks. Uh, so... We're got, we, dealt, we deal with... Uh, we dealt with Ray for three weeks. Now we're dealing with Peter for three weeks. And then we're going to do... Then in May, we're going to start back up with Egon. For him with three weeks. And then Winston for three weeks. It's just the way it goes. So I'm finally finished. I'm, I'm done with Ray. I'm, I mean, I'm done with Peter. I just start with Egon. <laughs> I did one video clip. And you're already... Because... I moved Peter's neighbors, like Louis, Janine, and Figo, across the hall from Egon this time. And uh, Egon has to put up with Egon. Uh, <laughs> any other characters? Maybe I put Jonas in. There we go. <laughs> and I Jonas Poha in this time. <laughs> Since he is a big fan of Vigo. <laughs> The video worshiper. I watched it again and like it was a series the dep episode. I was thinking of the real Ghostbusters. And anyways, I was watching Ghostbusters two again and I'm like it does not get old. <laughs> it just does not. I, just, this is, I I feel like watching the first movie again. I 
feel like watching it. There's no Ghostbusters. I feel like watching it all over again. But I want to get this commentary out of the way, okay? Before I even do that. It's exciting, huh? Hey, Frank, you're hot. I made some hot dogs for you. They're in the, they're in the microwave. You probably have to heat them up. You forgot about that, didn't you? Frank? Yeah. You forgot about the hot dogs, didn't you? Frank? No. Didn't you forget about the hot dogs? I did, but I'm eating them back up. Good. Eat them. I don't want to wait. Eat to waste them. There were like six hot dogs left, and I cooked them up. I had some. Zoe had some. And I'll leave the rest for you. Zoe also ate a whole container of strawberries. Frank? Zoe ate a whole container of strawberries. Yeah? What? She only had one hot dog. Versus how many strawberries she had? Yeah, of course. I had some hot dogs and at least the rest for you. It was, 10, it was 11 o'clock at night. And you're just now coming up for, di for dinner. And I cooked what? Three hours ago. That sounds like Frank. Would you rather have him paint or work on various skills? That's a good question. Also, there are times where he does cook food, but I, I do it off, I do it off camera, because I did that in other Let's Plays. Let's be honest here. Do you really need to keep seeing it over and over again? Why not? You already see him do skills. That's enough. You know, cooking is a skill, but you really need to watch him cook food. I do record him at least once or twice, well, at least once of him cooking food. But painting, however. He's painting for his specters. All his painting is for his specters. That's it. He, he has enough money. He doesn't need to make money off. It's, it's, just a, it's just a gift to his specters just to get him to leave a haunted house. That's all. Because if talking to the ghosts don't work, you need to persuade them with a gift. And if they don't like that, just keep talking to them. The red... The red specter, the evil specter, is harder to convince. Anyways, this kid does not like his dad. He's <laughs> in flies. <laughs> he thinks his dad stinks or something. <laughs> yeah. Sure, he had six kids with him. Six. Six in this generation, but 32 total. I guess y'all don't think I'm keeping count. I'll worry. I keep count. I always keep count. I may not keep count on, like, my descriptions, like, on YouTube when I put a description in. I may not show a baby counter. I mean, I don't. Just listen to commentary and you'll see. <laughs> I mean, come on. Just, just, just believe me. I, I don't cheat the baby count. That I don't do. We get to a hundred, we get to a hundred. Because I don't know what Ray did versus what Peter did. Because Ray got the twenty six kids and only Peter got the twenty four. Ah, uh, but you know what? It is what it is. If Egon can get to 26, then Winston can get to 24. It'd be 26, 24, 26, 24. Good pattern there. That's fine. As long as you get to 100, that's fine. See how many kids we can get with each. This isn't like, like 25, 25, 25, 25, like I normally would do. But 
So you see how many kids we can actually get <laughs> before we move before the end of thirty two episodes. Like each character has thir- thirty two episodes. You see how many kids they can have in the thirty two episodes. Otherwise, the show would just go on forever and ever and ever. And don't want that. I don't want the series. Just in case, what if he gets like tw- like thirty two episodes and the other person gets like thirty five or thirty? 30- I want everybody to have an even amount of episodes. Just give it amount. I want this to be fair. It's like you have thirty two episodes. See how many kids you can get in thirty two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Ray got 26, and then Peter ends up with 24. But we still end up with 50. 50 is a good number right now. We're halfway. And then we're going to start with Egon. Start over with Egon. Gosh. <laughs> really? I'm going to start over with Egon? No. Speaking of the real Ghostbusters, using their characters... Because they're the same characters, it's just they look different. As I said before, it's, um... I originally, before I even decided on the real Ghostbusters, before I had that idea, I had an idea of four male Lex characters, the ones getting pregnant and stuff, and I came up with Lex names, going back to Lex names with them. And then I did a poll, because I saw the real Ghostbusters, and using that, and it's like, I can't decide here. Let... I put up a poll on my community page just to see what everybody's reaction would be. Would I get for go back to another Lex series or do another go paranormal series but with the real Ghostbusters instead of the original, no one original and then you got the real Ghostbusters. And, so, and one vote said the real Ghostbusters. So I'm like what? so with the Lex names I came up with for twenty five kids for four generations well, here's how that's going to work. I'm still keeping the names. <laughs> I'm not writing down new names. I'm not. There's a crossover. We're going to have new, we're going to have Lex names. <laughs> the real Ghostbusters. They're going to use Lex names. I'm sorry. It's just we could combine both. And then have the male Lex characters get pregnant in Sims 4 cuz you can male Sims can get pregnant in Sims 4. But instead of doing that, we'll still have a little bit of Lex. I can make a compromise. We can have Sims Four. Uh, we can have the Four Ghostbusters and the Flying Heart Baby Challenge name the kids after Lex names. <laughs> it's better than four male Sims, more four male Lex characters getting pregnant. That's for sure. We could just name them Lex character Lex character names. I'm not changing the names. I'm not doing that all over again. I created these names just for the intention of four male Lex characters. Like, we know, we did four generations of... We had one generation of Kai and four generations Stan, three generations of Prince. So, if, and we had, then we had throw in uh, Reginald Priest as a fourth generation. Uh, one's getting pregnant, but I decided. But then I made Lex names. I found I put decided to go back to using Lex names. M- wrote everything down. Wrote their generations. You know what? If we do the real Ghostbusters, we're not changing the names. We're not changing the baby names. I'm not. I don't know. I wrote all them down. I'm not cha- Not changing them. And that. For goodness sake, we got regular names here. That I got off a baby name generator. <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> but, like online. Uh, instead of going use an online name generator, instead, I'm going to be using Lex names. So, we combine both ideas that I had in mind. But mostly, it's. The real Ghostbusters instead of Lex characters. And the only Lex characters is the Sims 4 real Ghostbusters are going to have kids and name them after Lex characters. 
it's fine. It's, they're not going to look like lip characters, but they're going to have, just have their name. Like, say, he has a kid that's Stanley, just... Or Bunny, or Zeb. They're not going to look like the characters from Lex Doll. They're just going to have the names. <laughs> so, the final season. It's like I'm combining both. But mostly the real Ghostbusters are going to be the one being fathered. It's going to be do like we did here. They go on paranormal investigations. They, but they look different. Like Peter looks different in the real Ghostbusters than he did in the, mo in the movie. Ray looks different. and <laughs> Winston kind of almost looks the same. I don't know. It's just... It, that, it, I think that's me. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's just it's just me. The only difference I can tell is, is the uniform. And that from the first movie, Winston had a mustache. And then the cartoon, he doesn't. So there's that. But in Ghostbusters 2, Winston no longer had a mustache. So there you go. Anyways, um... And Winston, oh no, it's Egon. The only difference in Egon is that instead of wearing, instead of having short br brunette hair with black framed glasses, he's in the series, he's got blonde hair and red framed glasses. I found the red framed glasses in Sims. At least I got that part. I had his hair color blonde, but it's a wrong color blonde. It's like a golden blonde. Because then, then I realized in the series, his hair is like a uh, bleach blonde. <laughs> it's like light blonde. Not, it's not um, a golden blonde. It's a light blonde. I gotta change, I gotta fix that. Before I even start the series, hopefully, there's more custom content for the real Ghostbusters. I hopefully... By the time I get around to it, it won't be toward the end of the year. And then I can focus on other, other series. Like a Hotel Challenge. I really want to do that. Maybe get around to Kai when you get the Star Wars series. I, I, the crossover series for that. I, I could focus on those. That would be great. Anyways. Are we convincing the ghost to leave? Oh, it didn't work, huh? Give him a gift. Give him a gift. I don't care what you give him. Even potions count. In case nobody knew that, the potions you get from the reward store do count as homemade gifts. Which is pretty neat. Good, we go home, whatever you say.